Hello, my name is Chris Grosso, co-founder and executive producer of Munchies. And the next video I felt deserved a little warning. Um, about a year and a half ago, our editor, Justin Simple, came to us and said that he wanted to do some Halloween content. When he showed us the final cut, I said, no way, this is never going up on Munchies, even though we allow well, pretty much anything as long as we don't find it offensive. This year, he started a petition and he got over 100 signatures and I said, we'll give it a shot. So here's the video, The Candy Cornhole by Justin Symbol. Get back in your pumpkin, what are you doing? This is the fucking netherworld here, come on. Can you put this photo up? <laughs> no. These are the devil's tampons right here. I am Justin Symbol, the king of negativity, the holiest of the holies, the prettiest of the ugly, the cleanliest of the filthy, the latest divinity. Today we're gonna to make something that I like to call the candied cornhole. The candied cornhole is a giant gelatinous ass. It's very supple, but it's also firm. It has to be firm because we're gonna carve an asshole in the candied cornhole. That's the actual cornhole part. And then we put candy in. It's gonna be chocolate covered candy corns. Give it that nutty texture inside the butthole. Empty the gelatin into this bowl. Please bring the water. We boiled this water for about five minutes. Now we need to mix the gelatin with the hot water. It kind of looks like MDMA, similar orange, yellowish hue. Actually, if you uh, take molly before you eat this dish, it will taste a lot better. So you see how this formed a huge clump and it looks kind of like a jellyfish or a used condom? We want to avoid that, so we're going to break it up. I need something bigger to mix this shit. Daddy's got the icicle. This is my icicle. When I sing, I like to serenade people. It's a big icicle that I stab people with as well. This is how you fucking mix shit. All right, now we're ready for the next step. We have to add the condensed milk. We don't have a normal can opener here in the kingdom of fear, so we have to use the fang of a dead hooker. See how goopy it is and gooey and ooey and delicious? God damn it! Now my assistants, the smileys, will cut the ass. We poured our mixture into two separate metal bowls. Each one is an ass cheek. They've been sitting for about a day now in the fridge. Release the ass cheeks. Initiate maneuvering. This is the make or break moment where the ass really takes form. Luckily, my assistants are extremely skilled in this task. See how she gently massages the cheeks? They have to be firm yet plump. This smiley has been studying for six years to reach this level of skill in ass shaping. Now the ass is ready. The final test is to smack the ass. It has to have the perfect combination of jiggle and firmness. This is the moment of truth. This is great, A ass. This is what Halloween is all about, guys. It's perfect. Look how it slides in there. Now we remove the excess skin, liberate the asshole. We want to be as realistic as possible, so we're going to add a little gelatin food coloring inside the butthole to give it that rosy hue. It's slightly distressed. This part can be done with the finger. Now the final part of the process. For this part, I need to don my glove. These are special gloves designed for maximum impact. If you're gonna candy a cornhole, you gotta use the right equipment. Now we have to crush the candy to give it that nuttiness. Work it, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. I will now present the candy cornhole to Peter. He's going to get a slice of the right cheek. Happy Halloween, motherfuckers! If anyone is offended by this video, I will take it down. Hashtag Chris Grosso, hashtag take it down.
Does that work? Do people even hashtag on YouTube that way? I see some of you shitty fucking viewers and the crap that you leave underneath this. So let's just keep it, either take it down or not. Something.